you know, thought about this topic. Suddenly we are sitting in retail and somebody is talking about some renomics and all of that. Let me just demystify that very, very clearly. So I thought that we all learn through analogies much better, right? Renomics is nothing but retail plus genomics. How come genomics in retail, right? What are we talking? Are we sitting in uh, medical science? Are we in microbiology? Nothing. It's all getting demystified right now. How are you treated when you go to a hospital today? What does the doctor tell you? They all, all of us get the same medicine, right? Same medicine, right? Now what's happening? Everybody is considered the same. This is what is happening. We are spraying and praying that your disease will be cured, right? Any fever, crocin. Headache, some medicine, right? Most of us get similar medicines, right? Is that true? Is it actually right, relevant for each one of us? Not at all. When we talk about brand and retail, we say our taste is very different. Do you think all our bodies are different or same? Each one of our bodies is completely different. If you are in, if you are in the hospital, if you are in the medical space, you will really understand that. I'm going to quickly cover that a bit. Now, the entire science is all about understanding right, and what humans are made of at the finest level. While quantum physics is looking at what's in the atom, material space, the entire medical space is looking at what's our human body. Actually, if you get to the bottom of it, humans are subdivided into cells, cells are made of nucleus, and nucleus made of chromosomes, and chromosomes are made of DNA. So fundamentally, when we say brand DNA, that DNA, etc., it's all this that we are talking about. Let me take you to the world of DNA first before we get into retail. If each one of human genome, it's called, human genome is basically a collection of all the uh, DNA into four, letter, four letters, A, G, C, T. If you have to put that, there are over three billion alphabets which constitute our human DNA, human genome. If you have to print this in paper, it would become 260,000 pages. In fact, you can see in this picture, it is actually a human genome printed in paper. It would weigh 415 kg. Now, what does that mean? That, and how does this genome help? Now, genome helps, if you really understand that, you can prevent and you can predict when an epidemic is coming. The one which you're seeing is an epidemic outbreak in Singapore a few years back. And they were able to predict by looking at the genome of people who are coming with that disease into the hospitals. If you digitize that, you will know that suddenly a particular pattern is emerging. And you can actually spot when this is going to climb up. Many of the epidemics today are not arrested because there is no genome for many of us. And today, human genome is pretty, it's not so expensive, $1,000. It used to be uh, millions of dollars few years back. Now, why are we discussing all of this? Understanding DNA helps us predict. Now, is genome used only in medicine? It's going beyond health. Now, human genome is used in, for example, discovering our ancestors. Human genome is used by a wine company called Winome. I thought I'll make a point here. This company, you can go to internet and find out, they will ask your genome, DNA, and they will actually tell you which wine you will most likely to taste, right? Taste well, and you will like it. Imagine this can be used in giving anything which has a taste element. If human genome can be used for wines, why can't it be used for any other product. But the topic is not understanding our genome at all. Let's move forward. So how does genome helps in medicine? It helps you diagnose disease. Now, whenever you see disease, I want you to start thinking about what does disease mean in retail? What disease mean in brand? Now, what could disease mean in retail? You're making a product which is not relevant to the customer. It's a disease. Pile up of inventory is a disease. Delay is a disease. Genome helps you to get into the causation of why that happened. Genome helps you to choose the correct medicine, what action that we can take. It helps you to find out the genetic factors which, which may increase the risk. And also, 
you can actually screen all the new products which is flowing into your business so that you can prevent this disease happening ever again. Why am I discussing all of this? We are coming quickly there. For why Renomics? Today, consumers are more informed than brands and retailers. Market is more dynamic than ever before. For spray and pray of retail, today what we, have, what we do is we send everything to every store. Most of the store gets the same items. So do we really know whether this store really needs it? Do we know the genome of this store? Do you know the genome of this customer? It's very easy to say. Can we figure out genome of a customer for my brand? Can I figure out genome of a store? Can I figure out genome of my brand to my product? How do I find all of these matches? For we talked about in that panel discussion that future of retail is not about technology. It's not about finding the genome. It's actually finding the understanding the genome of this consumer who is shopping with you. Who are my consumers? How do I find out the genome of this person? The only way to do that is through machine learning. Through machine learning, you can decode the genome of your consumers, genome of your stores, genome of your brand to the customer. Now, I quickly want to tell you that machine learning is all about, it's like planting a seed and generating an outcome, unlike regular programming, which is an automobile. Given a set of rules, you can assemble a car, but that's not how nature produces. The nature produces, you put a seed. Now, the seed is equivalent to a learning algorithm. Soil is the data. Growth plants is the learned programs. Now, if you have to really have machine learning, the seed is data. Now, why do we need consumer code? From discovering human code, we are moving into consumer code. We all, as businessmen, want to reduce risk. How many of you want to reduce risk in your business? I think almost everybody. Now, the question is, simple formula is, risk is inversely proportional to knowledge. For if you increase your knowledge, you can reduce your risk. Now, how do we increase your knowledge? For that's what we are all about. Stylomia is a three-year-old artificial intelligence company based out of Bangalore. We have over 60 clients and presence across seven countries. Well, these are some of our customers, global retailers, national retailers, online, offline, menswear brands, women's wear brands. And we started to focus on fashion and lifestyle. And, uh, you know, we, as a, fundamentally, we are a business which are agnostic of any category that we operate. We have global reception. Recently, last month, I was in New York. What you see on the left is Macy's CEO. It's a $14, $15 billion company CEO spent half an hour with us in talking about how he can apply Stylomia in his business. And the second one is fast retailing, which, is, uh, which has brands like Uniqlo and Goo, and they have $18 billion business, and I was making a presentation to the leadership team, Innovation Center in New York. Why are all they listening? Because some of the problem that we are trying to solve is very fundamental to retail. The first key problem that we are trying to solve is how do we make product decisions, design and buying decision, which is uh, typically not demand driven in the fashion business. How do we understand the demand pulse of the consumer? For we collect data at internet scale and power that. And there is also a huge scope in improving prediction. For we are a prediction company, we can predict what will sell well, when will it sell well, where will it sell well, how much can it sell before even you invest in a product. If you want to know details, we have a stall right up there and our team is there going to help you. Have we decoded brand uh, consumer code? This is a code of a brand that we have decoded using machine learning. What you see there is lots of alphabets like you saw the genome, right? Your brand store, your brand product can be decoded, right? This is just a part of that code that you are seeing here. For oh, computer can only understand numbers. Right? Now, using this, we can find out which product will best fit your con consumer. For quickly, uh, as a summary, what is the Renomics charter for any brand or retailer? One, scan the brand data and ecosystem continuously because you can't understand the market unless you know both your data and also market data. Diagnose the business across all dimensions, product, consumer, channels, and intersections, and start predicting what actions will work and what will not and keep on inspecting everything new you are doing, put it through this pipeline. And all of three, through the machine learning and AI technology that we have. Some of our solutions here, I'll skip through this and you can go to our stall and understand what we do. We are present across uh, seven countries. 
Now, I just want to finish this by saying that you'll be hearing a lot about technology through these two days. But I just want to tell you that what position should you take? Winning leaders are those who will make it happen, or those who will not let it happen, or those who will not wonder what happened. You actually need to decide which bucket that you want to be in. I would recommend that you be in the first one. And uh, why should you do that? Winning leaders will keep doing and learning. Some of your experiments might fail, but don't worry about it. Keep doing more experiments. Do not wait and see in this world. Do not wait for everybody to adopt and then say, I will adopt last. Why? If you want to be 100% sure, you will definitely be 100% late. Three takeaways. Spray and pray is not going to work anymore. Decoding consumer code is a definite need for any brand or retailer. And AI is real enabler. It's no more theory. And time to act is now. That's about it. If you have one or two questions, maybe one question. Anybody? Thank you very much.